Jonathan Edwards delivered his sermon, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God, in 1741 to a congregation in Enfield, Connecticut. Edwards read the sermon as he always did, in a composed style with few gestures or movements. However, the sermon had dramatic effect on his parishioners with the themes of Corrupt sinners face a fearful judgment. Time is short for the unrepentant. God's righteous wrath will come suddenly and unexpectedly. And it is only God's free choice that extends the day of mercy and provides another opportunity to respond to his call. We find it easy to tread on and crush a worm that we see crawling on the earth. So it's easy for us to singe a slender thread that anything hangs by. Thus easy is it for God when he pleases to cast his enemies down to hell. <gasps> yes, God is a great deal more angry with great numbers that are now on the earth. Yes, doubtless with many that are now in the congregation, who it may be are at ease. Then he is with many of those who are in the flames of hell. <gasps> Unconverted men walk over the pit of hell on a rotten covering. And there are innumerable places in this covering that is so weak they will not bear their weight. And these places are not seen. The arrows of death fly unseen at noonday. The sharpest sight cannot discern them. God has so many different unsearchable ways of taking a wicked man out of this world and sending him down to hell. <gasps> oh sinner, consider the fearful danger you are in. It's a great furnace of wrath, a wide and bottomless pit, full of fire of wrath, that you are held over in the hands of that God, whose wrath is provoked and incensed as much as against you as against any of the many that are damned in hell. You hang by a slender thread with the flames of a divine wrath flashing out about it and ready every moment singe it and burn it asunder and you have no interest in any mediator and nothing lay hold to save yourself. Nothing to keep of, off the wrath of flames. Nothing of your own Nothing that you have ever done to induce God to spare you one moment. How can you rest in a moment at such this condition? Therefore, let everyone that is out of Christ now awake and fly from the wrath to come. Peace be with you. You all born in hell! Total damnation! and this is my sister Mary and today we just heard a very terrifying and enlightening sermon from Pastor Edwards. He told us about hell and if we do not repent of our sins then we will go there and it will be an awful and dreadful place. He told us that we do not realize um, how severe hell is so we know that if we do not accept Christ that we will go to hell and it will be very terrible. That is why we accepted Christ, so we do not have to go to hell, because it is very... Before I witnessed Pastor Edward's sermon, I was a sinner headed straight for hell, and I didn't even know it. A verse stuck with me that stated, Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. My name was not written in the book of life, meaning I was going to hell. I have now been revived and born again through Christ, so I do not have to suffer a painful eternal death in hell. Thank God. I delivered my sermon sinners in the hands of an angry God so that I knew that I could save the people of my congregation. I knew that they were going to burn in a fiery wrath in hell and be subject to total damnation from the wrath of God. I knew that if I didn't save them, no one would. We find it. <laughs> hey, baby! This way. We find it easy to tread on and crush a worm we see crawling on the earth. It is easy for us to cut or singe a slender thread that anything hangs by. Thus easy is it for God when he pleases to cast his enemies down to hell. <gasps> yes, God is a great deal more angry with the great numbers that are now on earth. Yes, doubtless with many that are now in this congregation, who it may be are at ease that he is with you many that are SON OF A GOD! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I thought he was also going to say it. I was like... <laughs> Still recording! Did you delete it? Nah.
Don't delete it. Just, we'll save it for uh. Before I witnessed Pastor Edward's sermon last night, I was a sinner going to hell on a straight path down. There was a verse. <laughs> <laughs>